My parents gave me two names, Chidi and Collins. And my father's son name is Oparojak. My dad's father's name is Oliver. And then my grandfather's name is Oparojak. And I chose to answer Oparojak mm -hmm. as a choice. No, some people can work for some people. But it's not part of my line to work for anybody. Mm. And I believe my children will not work for anybody. Mm. They can gain experience, but they can't for anybody. My desire, honestly speaking, even till tomorrow, God is my witness, is I wanted a caller because of the calling I had from God, mm. not for any other thing. You know, as a young man who came from the university, you know, year one or whatever, came from the university, and then you have received this exposure of uh, laying hands and speaking in tongues, mm. and we are praying in a service where I didn't want to start busting in tongues, bro, go so, pray, can bro, go so, all of a sudden, the three words lifted me. Through the, not even through the, through the window. <laughs>
let's say uh, I have uh, uh, a man who has a house of assemblyman. A house of assemblyman mm. who, by stroke of chance, became elected, mm. will have over 17 PAs, mm. over 17 SAs, yes, yes. then have over, uh, over. You see a small boy whose salary is being paid, mm. he having more than 30, 40 persons behind him as working for him. That's madness. Simple madness. So, and there's a burden on the economy. Mm. There's a burden on the income that come in. And you're paying people. So how do you talk about that? Now, I don't know, where, I don't know what's happening in Abuja, but some states have been, you go to just a, a traffic where your car stopped. Maybe because of uh, light, uh, you know, waiting for the green light to uh, allow you to, you know, move on. Mm. You're going to see over 10 to 20 uniforms, different uniforms, different groups of people for one vehicle. Mm, trying to ask for your Collect purpose. money <laughs> and particulars. Mm. You keep asking, how can a nation like this make our youth become irresponsible? Will this feed them for life? Mm. 20 persons in one car. Mm. And you pay them 10,000 every month. What can that do to a man? When the government finishes that tenure and leaves, and the new governor or new, pre new president comes on board, he, those ones are uh, with that. And they don't have any handwork. They become mm -hmm. criminals. They mm -hmm. begin to kidnap. He mm -hmm. said, kidnappers. You want to stop kidnappers, give people, let them go, and let them walk. But if, if for instance, the, there's, a, there's a governor that recruited uh, each community, uh, 20 vilante, vilante, each uh, autonomous community, 20 vilante. For instance, if there are 100 autonomous communities in that community, in short, the Imo State will have about 100 and something autonomous communities times 20. Hmm. No, talk to me times 20. That runs so into 2,000 something. Hmm. And you pay them 10,000 naira every month. Hmm. Take the amount. And that's what they're doing. And then after four years, you are moved away from government house. And the next governor will move these 2,000 away from them. Hmm. And they're doing nothing. What would they expect to do? Hmm. It was start stealing. But instead of doing that, why not use the same thing to teach them handwork? Hmm. What to call acquisition? It could be for pricing. It could be shoemaking. It could be farming. Tell them what to do. But instead of them to do that, in short, you know the empowerment one man did for uh, some people? Empowerment, a whole representative did for his people is uh, frying, uh, Gary Frying, uh, Gary Frying, Frying Machine. Gary, Gary Frying uh, Basin. <laughs> and I said to me, you're very wicked. <laughs> Young men mm. who are less than that, some of them are 20 something, some 18, some 19, for empowerment. What you bought for them was we borrow. Mm. Transistor. And you expect <laughs> that community to grow. How would mm. they grow? Mm. And when I speak this way, they said you are too stubborn. No. That <laughs> wickedness. Mm. Others are giving their people to go to India, mm. US, uh, Germany, Saudi Arabia, uh, Cyprus, Europe to go and study nursing, medicine, engineering. You're giving your people borrow. Mm. We borrow. And expect them to become, not to be militants tomorrow, not to be kidnappers tomorrow. Mm. 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 Ah, no, no, no. God will help us. Now, 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 now w that means these are some of the factors causing this uh, uh, economic crisis yeah. in, in this country. Yeah. Hmm. Now, pandemic, this pandemic has come, and now a lot of countries, South Africa was already in, uh, is already in recession. Uh, they are just coming out of it. Uh, Nigeria is probably practically in recession. <laughs> I think, uh, uh, do you think we are already in recession uh, this time? Nigeria has been in recession since 2015 now. Hmm. Nigeria has been in recession since 2015. We're only trying to, we're only trying to manage to be coming out before this one came back, before this COVID-19 came. Hmm. If we're in recession, it's even better. <laughs> yeah, but if you're in recession, it means you have a, yeah, it seems better. Mm. I don't know what to say, but <laughs> <laughs> if I research, it seems better. Mm. That's the issue. Now, is that also the reason why the dollar has so much crashed? I mean, the, 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 the no, this show, you know, you know, you know that dollar is the the Buddhist way. Dollar is the actual currency now mm. for world market. Yeah. So based on that, the demand for dollar is high. And since the international flights have not been going on, so we have not been having more people coming in with dollars. 
-hmm. as per for investment in Nigeria. Yeah, those want to build houses, want to buy land, want to build their industrial mm. companies. Mm. They come in with dollar before now mm. and then change it to Naira. Mm. Then those want dollar will buy the dollar. Those want to do export. Mm. And then those want to do importation. Okay. We all to buy the dollar. But since that flight locked, you know, couldn't continue, mm. that's, that's locked down on flight, international mm. flights. Dollar, uh, dollar interest into Nigeria has reduced. And you know the policy of dem uh, or demand and supply. Yeah. One of the demand and supply is when the demand is higher than supply, yeah. the price must surely go up yeah. naturally. Yeah. And when supply is more than demand, the must, price must surely go down. So that's what it is. And then, you know that the whole world economy run around the behavior of dollar. If dollar goes up, economy goes up, the economy comes down. So everything that affects that affects us. Mm. And then the problem I have is Nigeria, what is Nigeria? What are we doing within? Leave us, leave a. Uh, Leave a uh, dollar. Mm. What are we doing to cushion the effect of the rising dollar? Mm. That's issue, that be, should be a question. Yeah. What, the, what, is, uh, what are we doing yeah. to stop dollar rise? That was, we can st the dollar rise can be stopped by us. We will mm. not stop the dollar coming in or going out. But we can stop dollar rise. What are we doing to stop dollar rise as mm. a people? There are people who are collecting salary in this nation. In in, no, collecting salary, living in good houses. Mm. You using know, extra codes, you know the allowances required, you know, kind of, you know, asking VIP in this nation, whose job is to make sure that dollar is matched with Naira, to make sure dollar effect does not affect Naira too much. What are they? What are they doing? Mm. Rather, rather, what they do is to pack up the dollars, the allowances to, pay their Naira equivalent of 310, 330 Naira, and then go and sell, and sell it, and sell at uh, 400 and something and make more money. Hmm. In this nation, that's weak, high level of like, A man can be in his house without walking out from his house. Because he has one, one friend somewhere in one bank or somewhere, and you are you're able to buy the dollar at rate, at government rate, mm. and then sell. Sell at uh, making a profit of 300 naira per dollar, or 200 naira per dollar, 150 per dollar. Mm. And it's not like this. And we keep quiet. Mm. No issue. What is the solution to this? The solution to this is a radical approach. Radical approach. <laughs> government have not, sh forgive me, mm -hmm. I'm not a politician, <laughs> but uh, government have not, sh have government by body language have not, have not tell, have not told us that they're serious with fighting for the economy of this nation. No, forgive me. Mm. Their body language have not shown, have not shown that at all. When, uh, when if you, if you, if you, if you, if you're a president or your governor. Or you have authority to do something uh, in, any, in any particular environment, and things are going this way, keeping quiet, behaving as if you're helpless. Mm. That means you're, you're, you're supposed to be uh, show the way out. Get out of the place. And the other people, those who know how to drive the, how to drive the vehicle, can drive the, to drive the vehicle. Mm. But tired of all these things. They know what to do. But nobody wants to do it. That's the issue. Mm. The no. economic team of Nigeria yeah. know what to do. Those men there are timbers and caliber of this they are best brands in this in this in this in this nation. But the issue if they recommend would they would it be carried out? Hmm. That issue. We are brought politics to everything. Hmm, 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 hmm. Now, now now the issue of government borrowing, borrowing. Uh, what, what will you say to that? Because, uh, you know, recently there is this uh, sovereignty or whatever issue that has been. Uh, well, the, the, the rate at which the government is borrowing, uh, do you think it's advisable? Borrowing is not bad. Okay. For my field, mm. borrowing is not bad. Even as a businessman, borrowing is not bad. In short, every businessman in Nigeria is succeeding today, live on borrowing. Mm. Yes. And so it's through borrowing to banks make their money. Mm. Do you understand? So Nigeria borrowing is not bad. My problem is borrowing to do what? Okay. When you borrow to when you borrow money to produce what you eat, that's bad enough. <laughs> you borrow money to buy to buy a fisher vehicle. That's stupidity. Mm. You borrow money to go and buy clothes and buy shoes. Or go and build houses. Or to pay... Uh, or to pay allocation. Allocation. <laughs> or to give a subvention. Mm. Or to give allowance. Or to give... Do, do to, for campaign. That's stupidity, forgive me. Mm. More or less, we borrow to be invested in tangible goods. Tangible things that will produce back the profit. 
It's when you borrow and invest in things that will bring back the profit. You eat the profit. But Nigeria, what we do? We eat the seed <laughs> that will bring the fruit. So when we eat the seed, we can't have fruit again. Hmm. So until, until we borrow to invest in, like what I said here, borrow to invest in tangible investment hmm. that will bring inflow. Because without inflow, your borrowing is useless. Hmm. And unfortunately, in our nation, people play with issues that are, that are more delicate. Look at the way Minister of Trump was, was answering uh, questions they were asking about the loan with him. Look at the way he answered as if he was a father, what if it was a, a small boy's business. Hmm. You can see it's, it's irritating. It's irritating when you see a leader behaving as if they are boys. <laughs> Look at an important issue. They ask him. He was talking as if he was laughing, a laughing matter. That's my pain. That I was so mad. I say, you see, people who are leading this country. Look at this man. <laughs> An accusation was raised against you that you are mortgaging, you are mortgaging the, the posterity of this country on loan to another country. Hmm. And you answer laughing, hey, hey, hey. for goodness, that's madness, madness. And they said they shouldn't go further. They shouldn't go further. Can you imagine <laughs> that? Are you the owner of this country? Hmm. You're giving us the money to go further, to investigate it? Hmm. That's, that's what my pain is. You give, I don't know, forgive me, I don't know what to do. I won't be harsh, I won't be harsh <laughs> on anybody, whatever. But hmm. you can understand the way Nigeria hand, handle issues, hmm. peculiar issues. Issues that are dangerous. Yeah. That, that is capable to tear this country into two, or into three, or into four. And somebody answering it as if it was a, something you can a wave of hand. Mm. A home minister of this Federal Republic of Nigeria talking mm. that way. And nobody called him to order. He wasn't called to order. It's not as if it's in my trade market in, uh, in uh, <laughs> uh, Abuja Motor Park mm. or my trade market. Mm. I pray God will help now, us. Now, 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 look at the quantum of money Nigeria has borrowed. And, uh, from analysis, it's looking as if... We will borrow more. Hmm. We will borrow more. Because those money borrowed are not actually invested where it's supposed to be invested. Hmm. When you borrow to build a house, it is when you borrow money you put in, is in concrete investments. When you bring profit, you cannot build a house. When you borrow to build a house, what is house you're building? And you're building house that people are not paying house rent. Hmm. So that house you're building doesn't bring income. And you have the income, you, what you borrowed, you pay interest and pay the income back. How will you get the money back? Hmm. You don't borrow money to build a house or to buy a vehicle. There are liabilities. Look at, uh, we are talking about, uh, we are passing to COVID-19. And uh, our leaders in the National Assembly were talking about new, new vehicle new they want purpose. to buy. Yeah. That's madness. <laughs> ah. hmm. Now, now let's let's go. Let's come back to. Uh, I, I'm picking this from a quote of one of your write-up. Uh, <laughs> you said the church. Oh, we are coming back to church now. You yeah. said the church has allowed itself to be boxed into a corner with outdated, overused, obsolete, and moribund philosophical belief, uh, which other denomination are exploiting their environment by influencing what goes on in their environment. Uh, we have prided ourselves in parochial and lopsided short-sightedness. Uh, can you explain to us how this is affecting the economy of uh, the Church of Nigeria uh, as, as, as you example? Know, you know this church is the, the biggest church in Nigeria today as a denomination? I hope you know that. Yeah. If we go by records, analysis, we're over, we're over 20 million. Mm. But let's take, let be, let be an average of say 70 million. We are, still, we are still begging for money, begging for one million, one mm. billion. Mm. It's a shame. It's what I'm talking about. We are still begging for one billion. We are still, we are still begging for money. When the, this church is the most resourceful church, the most wealthy church financially, mm. but we are begging for it. So it's a major problem. Most of the churches that are doing what they are doing today, they are not up to one quarter of this church, both in structure, both in connection, both in human resources, mm. both intelligent, and both uh, numerically, structurally. Mm. No. But these guys are exploiting the opportunities they have around. And we are all busy, we are busy here. Priding ourselves with, uh, I'm a Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Mohaji Bema. <laughs> and then I'm in my, in my, I'm in my, Bishop my Scott. Bishop's Court there. Everybody must come and see me. <laughs> How, what, is that answer for Bishop to go and see his members? Call his member to order? 
You know, it's not uh, out of place. It's out of place. No, bishop should be a uh, come and see bishop here. Yeah, that's madness. Forgive mm -hmm. me. Ministry is about relationship. Ministry is about going out, not them coming in. Mm -hmm. Ministry is it's not about the man going to somewhere to be the sm uh, small castle and put himself there and start asking Lord Bishop. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about reaching the people, making them your friends, reaching their, meeting, meeting their needs. And when you do that, the people in turn, we meet your own need. Mm. We meet the need of the church. The problem we have now is our engagement is part of our problem too. They will engage workers. I thought about it here. Mm. More people engage now with people who are retired. A man is working. <laughs> he has used to youth. Look at you. You're a youth. You're a young man. You have been working here for most 10 years now. I think so. Yeah. Then after you have finished working here for 10 years, for 35 years. I want to, tell you, I want to picture for 35 years mm. from now. Add to your age. Then... Five years to you to retire, you now come and tell one bishop you have a call. <laughs> Donate in synod the first day to one year, 200,050. Mm. Second year, 200,000. Mm. Third year, 150,000. Fourth year, my Lord Bishop, I have a call. He said, ah, go, 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 go. And you said seminary for a sandwich program, you, you ordained. Mm. And then after two years, you're retiring. <laughs> When a man has retired from civil service or from anywhere, I'm not against them being consulted, but I guess they've been given a chair to mm. drive a ministry for a man of 20 something years. It mm. can be the same. Mm. This man can wake up by 7 o'clock in the morning. He's an, he's an old man. He has been exhausted himself for 35 years, mm. working elsewhere. Mm. He's going to ministry now to do a ministry. Which, ministry is the hardest work. This, church work is the hardest work. Mm. Because church work, Others are sleeping, you're not sleeping. Yeah. People are eating, you're not eating. Fasting and prayer. There are people there are some who do fast and prayer for 100 days in a year. Do Fiji. People, the hardest work I've seen is church work. Then a man who have, who have finished his life somewhere else is coming up to have a full time to be an answer call mm -hmm. at 55 years old or 60 years old to go at 65. As a vicar. As a vicar. <laughs> he now sit on young men who have the future to develop in their ministry mm -hmm. and give them all the work to do. It doesn't work that way. I'm not against them. You can put them as a uh, attache. But to give them the driver's seat to drive, no. Mm. It's like here. This uh, 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 is CNN. You're a young man. If we need, uh, if we need any experience, we'll take experience, we should be able to empower, empower your training. Try to go and do that. We can consult for advice. We want to get people to say, some are retired from elsewhere to come and work here. It doesn't work that way. Mm. Because the man is retired. Oh, every body is retired. His desires are retired. His views are retired. His demands are retired. Everything about him is retired. Mm. Retired means bring, 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 bring. Mm. As is. So it's a major problem. Until the church look at that again. Mm. If you watch now, check all the people who have, who have, recru who have ordained recently. If there are 100, check over 60% of them are people who are, who are working, who are, not been who are not been dead workers, who are having five years, 10 years to retire. You know, I, I had that experience. I ordained one without knowing his age. His age. After I went to my, came back, I ordained him. Hmm. After ordaining him, the, the next one year, retirement, he has reached age of retirement. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> Since that day, if you say God called you, you give me your when you are born. <laughs> I will look at it. <laughs> I'm not against those prayer workers. I believe those prayer workers can come up early. If, as you, if you be one to God is calling you, hmm. what should we go to call you at this age now? Not when you're 60 years. Hmm. Or when you're 55 years. Mm. God, why can't God, why must God call you Absolutely. when you're 55, 60 years, 70 years? God should call you now. So I can start your work. <laughs> now, 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 let's look at... Uh, I, I'm not done with that. Okay. Then another one is clustering, clustering spaces with the retired workers. I've talked about that. Mm. Another one is territorial dominance and autonomy. Yeah, in fact, I wanted to talk about church of Nigeria does not handle autonomy. The autonomy will destroy this church. Yeah. It might force me that a, a young man like me Forget about my grade. When I became a bishop, all my intention and desire is to run a small territory called on Hajibum as my territory. I carry, I carry stuff around. Then I'm, 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 I'm so miserable. I'm, I'm a foolish man. <laughs> if all my intention in life, my desire in life is that uh, Hajibum is my territory, where mm. I'm, the, I'm the bishop of this diocese. Mm. That's where I can cover. That's where my thinking ah, That means I'm in trouble. Mm. My, my, I have a very narrow mindset. Mm. Mm. I don't have a mindset. That's the problem. Hmm. Another one is being a political. We are being a political. We don't want to in politics. 
We say, we're not partisan politics. Nobody says you enter partisan politics. The church must be interested in politics because that's the only way we are governed. We can't remain a political. Hmm. Look at what's happening to small, small churches. There are people that govern us. How many people are governor of foreign extraction this last election? They are chipping because how many people are governors today? Hmm. For the, yeah, because they are involved. Commissioner, go and check them. Minister, go and check them. Those who are, are senators, go and check them. These are Christians from some Pentecostal churches. In our own case, how many? We are saying, but we are, we are church is not politics. What do they do in their, in their own church? What, my mm -hmm. friend who, has a, who is a GO, one of his sons was contesting for uh, House of uh, House of Prayer. The church raised an offering. Prayed for him in the open church. So raised offering. The church raised an offering to support him. Mm -hmm. That offering came to 100,000. They gave it to him. It's a small money. But for him to be in church, they pray for him. The church supported his vision by raising offering, giving him 100,000 naira. Mm -hmm. The guy in now won. He has, he has ripped that church now. He has bought the pastor. This tier of about 45 million uh, jeep. They have given it to the pastor to the Jew of the And he's doing everything because the church supported him. You just prayed for him. But I want to say, hey, we have PCC, APC, I have PDP, we have APG, we have this, you know, let's not talk about this. For goodness sake, talk about it. Bring them together, talk about it. That's only to show interest. Mm. Then when they succeed on their own, you know, according to come and donate money. Mm. If it's me, I will not. Mm. Let's get involved. Mm. Let's get involved. Let's encourage them. Let's begin to teach our church members. They should, they, part of our Bible lens should include governance. Mm. Governance from they the children ACM is going to play governance. The job is going to start governance from AC ACM. I don't get your ministry. Yeah. From there to the youth. Governance. So be one of the Bible outlines we must we want to put in our place. We do it in analysis. Hmm. We do it in analysis. And I push everybody go to go to politics. Go. Those who go. After the clergyman, if God called you to, to politics and you are convinced, come, I'll give you leave of assets. Go. You, you can't say Bible say when the righteous rule, people rejoice. And the righteous is hiding. Hmm. How would they come to rule? Hmm. Forgive me. <laughs> well, then okay. again, yeah. using church offering to run a, to develop a church is not it's not biblical. Okay. You know, use church offering to build projects. Church offering to run university. You know, they they share quota for us to pay quota to run university. That's that's madness. Hmm. The Bible, there's no way in the Bible they use church offering to build a house. No way in the Bible. If you see, tell me. I will go and read. I apologize. Church of is meant for the upkeep of the ministers. They, if the church wants to build, the church will back up, call the church members to bring something for building. Mm -hmm. Moses did that. Moses said people should bring. People brought. Mm -hmm. They didn't use sacrifice made at the altar okay. for, for building it. No. Mm -hmm. and, that's what, and that's why these, guys explore, uh, the, 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 these Pentecostals, that's why they explore, they explore it. You guys are using an offering, it gets or tithe to build anything. No. What they do is when they want to build that, they come to church and say, this house will cost for 3 million naira, and, I need people, I need, and they, this pillar is 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, please, who will take it? People will take those pillars there and then and bring the money. It's not for the offering. But you can't touch your own building, want to build this uh, uh, here with offering. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. Sorry, I've, I've stopped there. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, now, let me, let's, you were talking about the issue of uh, autonomy the other yeah. time. A, 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 a lot of people have believed that the autonomy in the Anglican church is affecting the same. Uh, look, take for instance, uh, some pastors in some dioceses are not collecting even up to 10,000 every month. And whereas in some other places, uh, that is not even what uh, an evangelist collects. What would be your advice on the issue of stipends? Listen, every clergyman or church worker who is looking to you looking for the other church working on the diocese, how much he receives, should leave the diocese where he's working. It's your cross. For instance, for two years mm. in Ohadjuma, I didn't collect what dime. There was no money for me to collect, no money. I had to go to Potako, disinvest my investment, and brought six million to pay salary for two years to church workers. Mm. As I talk to you now, I don't know whether so I'm, I don't know how many months now, six or whatever months. I've not received dime as a stipend. Hmm. It's my cross. But I'm building a cathedral church. I have money for uh, building fund. There's money in building fund. But that money came for building fund. So it didn't come for salary. Hmm. And I'm, I'm building. We are, they are doing a lot of work there now as I'm talking to you. So not to stop me taking the money as salary, but it's not for salary. It's not salary. It's for building. So the issue is when God calls you, 
and put you in a place. Mm. Leave you, that's why I call you. Or leave the place. Instead of comparing yourself, if you compare yourself, that means you don't have a call. Leave the place. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. No way a person said he, he's getting 10,000 naira from here and the other one is getting 1 million naira from there. Leave now and go. Why are you forced to stay there? <laughs> now, another thing is not even what, how much you receive that issue. The issue, the man who you're talking about there, mm. is, these things have a balancing effect. Let me use an analogy. Okay. Here in Abuja, yeah. you buy everything. Is it not? Mm. There in Nohaji Buma, don't buy everything. I can buy gari. Can buy plantain, can buy yam. I'm talking about clergyman now. Mm. Can buy those things if if he has a ministry. You can buy corn. This will come. Mm. But if you chew corn here, you buy it. You chew rest them, you buy it. So what you are, what I'm losing in cash, mm. I'm gaining in kind. in kind. What you're what you're gaining what you're gain, what you're losing in kind, mm. you're gaining in cash. Yeah. So when you have to understand the the, the effect the balance system. But the problem is, humanly speaking, people are always looking for where they are not. Mm. Take them there, they won't succeed. Mm. Anyone who cannot succeed anywhere can succeed elsewhere. Success is not localized. Success is what God, what you can, what you can do. Yeah. So back to that question. Yes and no. Yes, in the sense that it will stop issue of shortening from that to that. Is you know, somebody saying this that is. I want to go there. I want to go there. What do? If stipend is the same everywhere, that means you can walk from anywhere. The no is that some diocese cannot even pay when you make it centralized. For instance, when you make it centralized, say, okay, let it be centralized, there is stipend. You know, if it's 100,000, 200,000 naira per canon, let it go to Church of Nigeria. Some dioceses cannot pay that. In short, some bishops, some bishops don't even stop to 50,000 naira. A salary, a stipend. Do you understand? So you know, that's okay. Bishops uh, who are ten years as bishop are upward five hundred thousand. This man, this man takes five hundred thousand to his diocese, and they say, "Oh God, they will leave that for the man. They will run away from his diocese." <laughs> so, but I think grading will be important. Grading will be important. Will be the ideal. Okay. Grading. Grading mm. means two of them can agree on stipend. Grade one. Grade one diocese can pay this one. Mm. Grade two diocese can pay this one. Grade three diocese can pay this one. But the basic, same. But allowances vary. Mm. Okay. So that will, that will actually we introduced in a, a joint council. Joint council will have uh, grade one, grade two, grade three. I happen to be one of the budget uh, planning committee. I mean, others were in grade three. But the stipend, basic is the same. For archdeacon, for... For priests, mm. the same. Mm. But it varies in a percentage, it varies in a allowances. The allowances. This grade one have 30%, 35, and 25. Grade two has a 30, uh, uh, 25, 20, and 15. While the grade three has a 15, has 20, 15, 10. Mm. And, but the basic is the same. Mm. How was it? And uh, uh, that's just why in grade, we are in a grade three. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Now, now we viewers, we we are going to just take this short break, and uh, we'll, we'll be back after this break to continue with our Lord Bishop in this discussion. Please stay tuned. Postfire is a program that treats controversial topics and diverse issues surrounding the church and the society. Technology drove the inflow or the outbursts of people having Bible because of printing technology. Same way the digital revolution has also made it possible for people to have Bibles in various formats in their hands. That's an Anglican agreement in Anglicanism. And Anglicanism is standing on the triple of scripture, tradition, and reason. When we are about to read the Holy Gospel, all members will be made to stand up. Assuming the gospel are read from the phone, and he says, this is the gospel of Christ. You are likely to confuse a lot of people because people will be seeing food in your hands. In the history of Holy we've Communion, never sir, that we've got never got had that somebody think, contacted the deeds from the other person. I think, sir, the, the, the truth is that when people are gathered together and anything happens, whether it is an earthquake or it is a disease or anything, it spreads faster and there are more fatalities. That's just what I'm talking about. The first evangelist in the Bible was a woman, the woman of Samaria that Jesus met at the 
well. Immediately this woman met Jesus. She went into the town and started telling everybody that come, come and see somebody who told me everything about myself. The women actually supported the ministry of Christ, supported the ministry of the apostles, but they were never called apostles. Thank you for staying tuned and uh, if you are just joining us, uh, yeah, you've missed a bit, but this is still the exclusive uh, with the Right Reverend Chidi Okwara Jaku. And uh, we've been talking about economy and its effect on the society and uh, the church. Now, my Lord, sir, let's find out uh, what's your take on church governance? What structures do we need to put in place? Well, I think church governance, there's nothing wrong with church, uh, church governance. Our church governance is perfect. In mm -hmm. short, some churches are imitating us. Yeah. Some denominations are imitating us. Mm -hmm. The structure is there. The primate there, then the archbishops mm -hmm. at the provincial levels, mm -hmm. bishop at the sun levels, mm -hmm. then there's some uh, synod, delegates, the sun board, the inquiry board, parish council, all of that. That's a powerful structure that we don't need to tamper with. But the problem we have to make it stand and make it work is the authority flow and power sharing mm. must have their limits where they stop, where they begin. Mm. Now, if that happens, there's what we call respect of honor. Respect of honor means I know this is where my own starts. Mm. This is where my own st stop. But if we don't have where your own st starts, you don't know where it stops, then you can overlap the authority and then destroy the system. Mm. But our system Governance our system is powerful. Mm. But I also think that the things to make it make it effective mm. is one, like I have some here, is to put structures in place. Structures in place. With a defined and designated orders, limits. You don't have a system where people don't know their role, people don't know what to do, mm. or they, only, they only move about asking what do I do. <laughs> in a case where, for instance, I'm doing the work of an archdiki. For good, that is, for instance, uh, I've, I've, I've baptized, uh, I've baptized children, I've baptized children for more 15 years as a clergyman. Then if I start struggling with baptizing children again as a bishop, then something <laughs> is wrong somewhere. <laughs> Except there are, there are ones you, mo you must baptize. Mm. And from concerned, those are children, clergy children. Or maybe some of church prominent members, uh, you know, or whatever. But to carry crews there and be walking about from parish to parish to baptize children, <laughs> I don't understand that, what that means. Or mm. carrying crews, they are going about to dedicate houses mm. or lay foundation. Mm. That's the work of a, I did as a clergyman. I look as a clergyman. Or carry every wedding that sister must be there <laughs> to carry crews and do wedding. That's the work of a mm. clergyman. Mm. Because if you do such work, the, the archdeacon is rendered redundant. The mm. In short, the archdeacon himself, I wasn't baptizing people. As an archdeacon in St. Andrews, he's there. Even in Chapel of Redemption, he's there. I have, pre I have priests working under me. They are baptism to do their work. But I've done baptism as a deacon. I did a lot of baptism as a deacon, as a priest, as a canon. Many over 1,000 baptisms, more than that. Then as a deacon, I had three clean working under me. I'm still doing baptism. Mm -hmm. When is there work to do? There's mm -hmm. the work. They mm -hmm. must be a bishop, and I do baptism again. Mm -hmm. Then, then I should. That's mm -hmm. what I promise. Mm -hmm. And the, most of these such deacons and priests and, are very angry, though they won't express it to the bishops. Mm -hmm. But when you go, there's a. You know, there was one particular one, one particular wedding that we attended. <laughs> I can't forget that wedding. <laughs> we were over 17 bishops. Wow. Yes. Now, what happened was that when we had to process, actually, when Archdeacon actually made a statement, I'm sure he today didn't know I heard him. He said, nah, in Hebrew language, <laughs> Bishop, you say, uh, Bishop, uh, you everywhere. And we hang another. That's uh, Bishop's everywhere. We can't we have no work to do here today. 17 bishops, <laughs> of course, yes. Mm. They won't have nothing to do because every shop wants to do one thing or the other. Mm. If it won't be enough. Yeah. So the guy was saying, I will have no work to do today. <laughs> <laughs> and I told the Lord, I didn't get to my just man, I shook my hand and went my way. <laughs> Why I tell that way? Because I had this, I had the internet the way you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Now, if you could say that, that they know, do you know what they say behind you? Mm. Behind you? Mm. There are work meant for bishop, clergyman. Mm. 
which I did as a clergyman. Mm. That work made for me as a bishop work is not those things. Bishop work beyond that. Mm. Bishop we go beyond that. Can you see me carrying my cruiser to go and do a baptism in a church? When I have actually in there, I have a priest there. Even if the family invites me to do that, I'll be able to say, say sorry. For instance, many have invited, many have come to chapel for baptism. I say, no. Go to a church and get baptized. You're the, you're the church can baptize you. Now, this chapel, I only baptize clergy, clergy children. You have to kids that can baptize your baby. They will argue. One even came for wedding. I said, no, sir. We argue. I said, no, sir. As if I do that, I'm not empowering those, those clergymen in your church. What I will do, I will simply represent me. Go there and do the marriage. I went and did the marriage. I had, he came back to thank me for allowing to, me to do that. Hmm. Fine, the new bishop, they want to, they want to, but tell them, tell them, this is not your more work. There are those who own this work. <laughs> now, 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 let's go back to uh, his view of economy. Now, wh what will you say in terms of patronizing um, homemade products? I'm an apostle of homemade products. I'm an apostle, I'm an apostle of Nigerian products. Mm. The problem we have, we are not proud of what we have. Forgive me, I'm not a dietitian, but I've been told, rightly informed, that the rice that comes from abroad is not protein, is not nutritious mm. compared to rice in prison Nigeria. I've been told that severally. Because that one, they say we pass through chemicals and all of that. I'm not, I don't know about that. But they've told me in confidence that the rice, this local rice, mm. more nutri nutritious than that one. So, and if I'm, look, I'm eating rice to, to nourish my body, why do I need to eat that one? Mm. Someone told me a shoe of stone. So there's no top. I said, fine. Let's start with that stone. By next one year, two years, three years, the, this will improve. This rice we are calling foreign rice now was never like this before. Yeah. But they improved on it. They improved on it. So if we're going to eat our rice, we improve on it. After the, the level of stone that was there 10 years ago, it's no more level of stone that was there now. Yeah. now. So that's an improvement. In those days, we pick, you pick <laughs> you pick, you pick the, rice. The, yeah, you pick rice. <laughs> but now it's no more there. Mm. So we time to improve. I believe in our Nigerian made product. And I, I strongly believe that the only way to force Nigerians to take our product, that's the only way economy will grow. That's the way we become, we, we, we go, we, we become an exporting, exporting nation. Mm. And that's the only way our, our, foreign, our foreign exchange will increase mm. through this thing. And the only way we can do from the presidency, not that you give order and you're eating foreign rice in the presidency mm. or uh, government house or uh, House of Assembly House, you're eating foreign rice, you're ordering it and sharing to people. You know, I say go and eat Nigerian rice. Mm. For the presidency, let there, be a, let there be a bound of foreign rice. Everyone should eat that rice, this rice. I'm telling you, only two years this has to improve. Mm. But if you give an order and you're not obeying it, mm. and, the and the foreign like, rice are safe for Like some of our own. politicians who put traffic light for us, they don't obey it. <laughs> so you keep on. It's an issue I don't understand. Number two, they should impose high tariff, import duty on those imported goods. Mm. So that if you want to buy it, then you must spend fortune to buy it. That will force you to buy this one. Number three, they should also give a lower tariff, not if, or free, free low, loan free interest to, so, to, to home producers. Mm. And uh, it, I'm telling you to sell. Mm. Now, now, let's look at, uh, uh, as the uh, chairman of the uh, Economic and Financial Think Tank of the Church of Nigeria, uh, what, are, what are your terms of reference? We are giving about four terms of reference. Okay. And the one is uh, to raise funds for profitable investment for the work of missions in the Church of Nigeria. Okay. Two is to explore various options available to raise funds for sustainable investment. Okay. C, three, is to develop an operational policy guidelines for the management of the fund in our churches, in our church. Mm. Then four has three headings. Okay. Four, the, team, the topic four is revitalization of the church through one, increased the worship in our church, effective mission engagement globally, and holistic discipleship. Mm. These are the terms of reference. Mm. And we'll be, working on, we'll be working on it tomorrow. We're going to work on it tomorrow, God willing, mm. to expand and come up with a, a carrying policy statement okay. on it. Yeah.
Okay. And uh, yeah, um, uh, we are, we are, uh, the committee is very very enthusiastic, enthused on about this, especially the increased stewardship in our church. You know, in our church, we have not been exploited in the area of stewardship. Hmm. We've not exploited it. We have been given the lift service. Our church. We've not, we, 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 we've not, we've not, we have not, we've not actually come with the gospel, full gospel to the people to let them know that it can be a Christian and your post is not a Christian. It can be a Christian and your post is a hidden. Yeah. And your post can be a Christian and you're a hidden. Mm. That people must know that worshipping God and raising hand in praise, reading the Bible, hearing the word of God, also, also giving to the work. To the work. A part, it's all in the worship level. You can't do this one more, do this one less. They will be at the same level. Mm. If you're a child of God, you're born again, then your pockets will be born again. If you're born again, your pockets are not born again, your salvation has a question mark. But once you're born again, the first thing that you get born again is your, your, your material acquisition. That was why the, the, that rich man now that came to Jesus, I said, Jesus, I want to follow you. God, mm. Jesus said... Uh, uh, who he says is a good man, a master, what can I do to go to heaven? The man <laughs> said, the Jesus said, uh, love your neighbor, uh, this, this, that, that, all of that. The man said, all of this I believe from my youth. <laughs> what uh, do I lack? Mm. Jesus said, I lack one more thing. Mm. Go and sell what you have and share to the poor. Jesus was talking about stewardship. He was talking about, you have been doing all this, not this why, and your heart has not been touched, your pocket has not been touched, something is strong. Greed. Mm. Selfishness, inward looking, mm. self centeredness mm. is in your pocket. That was God you were telling the man. Go remove them, sell it and give to the poor, come back and follow me. The man ran away. <laughs> so I believe that our church, honestly, mm. needs to be thirsty worship. Mm. It can worship God without money. Let's not pretend about it. It's not spiritual. Money is not spiritual. So uh, people really don't give well enough in the Anglican Not church. even, they don't, we don't give. We say well enough, as if we are giving. We don't give. <laughs> If we are given, why must we be this house for four years? Hmm. Or five years or six years? Why? Two billion. Two billion. Do you know I attended a conference? Let me not call the name of the church. <laughs> one of my favorite general overseer ministers, one of my papas. Hmm. The man said in the convention in that, uh, that year hmm. that you people come every day, you give money annually to hotels around. That I've drawn, a, I've drawn a church, I've drawn a, 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 the drawing of a, a, a guest house. This is 1,000 rooms. And I expect that by next year, when you come for this convention or this program, you will move in here so that, that money will come back to the church. We can give you at a reduced discount price. Mm. So I'm going to give to the hotel. And the cost of it is 1 billion naira. Mm. I need the 1 billion naira now. And they have done the mathematics for you 5,000 naira. Only hmm. now, no pledge. Five thousand only now. This building next December you come here is standing here. One thousand unit rooms. Hmm. Sorry, the, the the people who came out for five thousand only five thousand people who came out by the time you counted the money two billion. Two ah. billion. That's for one billion. Got two billion. Hmm. For five thousand naira only. Two billion. And by December the man put two buildings. One thousand unit. Two, that's 2,000. Um, that's why many people stayed. Hmm. Each room taking two persons. That's about 4,000. And the money was paid back to the church. Hmm. So our church has not started giving. We're only hmm. scratching giving. We're only trying to. And even those who give self, who give. They before they even give. Authority to the why we bring money? <laughs> uh, my, you know, we usually give every year. Every year we hear yeah, Bishop, you know, we'll come to give now. We'll give again this year. You know, you know, God is blessing us. But at the end, I'm going to give people 20,000 Nara. <laughs> and all of this. And the, you keep yourself. Look at the whole man. We came with Jeep. Hmm. Back Jeep, that side. He has the gold over his neck. He has hmm. 20,000. And he's making us about it. Hmm. That issue. This church, if this church give, as God has blessed this church, this church can never live for one naira. Mm. Money will be everywhere. Look at that. Look at the center. I want to develop the camp. Yeah, we are thinking, talking about fencing. <laughs> <laughs> one man, mm. if our post is born again, as a heart is born again, mm. one man will take that fence and face it one year, finish it, and give Church of Nigeria. One man, commitment. Whatever you've not committed your passion to will not work. <laughs> yeah, forgive me. <laughs> Think to myself, a lot of people running around here. 
I'm not talking about your immediate office here. Mm. Run around there. Keep mm. asking, what are they doing? Mm. Keep asking them, what are they doing? Over staff. If you over staff, you kill the system. Not over staff. For instance, there's nothing stopping you doing two jobs. Yeah. Because they're interrelated jobs. Yeah. For instance, we want to, we are saying, another area we want to update our knowledge. You saw bring it, impress somebody else. We'll, that's the money we want to pay. We'll give it to you to go and update. So when you now come, you're not, you, instead of, instead of when you focus, you cannot have to focus. But to bring another person, say, well, no, if it's experience, bring another person, employ. And it's a higher man, he employ the person, pay 100,000 naira. He comes here by 9 o'clock, he's a consultant, he's consulting. Uh, by, <laughs> by 9, by 10, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. <laughs> and you're wasting the, 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 the space, the money, the everything. Hmm. So use that money, empower two or three persons there to go for that knowledge you want, to learn it and come back. Hmm. That's what the white man does. White man gives you four functions, not one. Once they employ you, that money they pay you must work it out. They train you in different areas so you can, you can, you can handle hazards around. Mm. But the problem here in Nigeria is, once my own is here, I focus on this. That's the problem. Some, some and then, uh, like I say, eat less, mm. save more, mm. than size mm. for organizations. Mm. Like I said, I've done sized. Mm. Invest in intelligent goods. Farming is very important. Farming is very important now. Very, very important. That's where money is. Mm. Farming. The, the, I didn't buy, I've not bought corn this year. I, 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 I made some, I, in my garden, I have four plots of land I bought for the church. So I had to plant corn there. My mm. bishop's house there. And I've been eating my corn. I have my peers around. I have about four trees of peers that are fruited this year. Mm. And I have beautiful peers. So every evening, I just go plot some corn, cook some corn, bring some peers. Night meal, I've taken dinner. <laughs> that night. Go on, take a cup of water, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Mm. Not just my, my wife also eat. My children, will, those at home, will eat with me. I go What uh, If you get talk about 10, about 5 or 6, you boil it, cook it. That means it's done. Get the pear from your backyard, roast it there. Two, two minutes, that one is gone. Two, 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 come. You are gone. That, they are done for the night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay for the night. <laughs> you know. Thank you very much, uh, my lord. And um, we've learned so much from this conversation. Frank and uh, very concise. Sir. Thank you for coming and thank you for those uh, for the privilege of having you in the studio, sir. I'm grateful and thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Sorry if, I, if wherever I offended you, but forgive me. <laughs> I, I think you're already used to that. <laughs> Well, for anybody, for, they forgive me. <laughs> All right. Thank you, viewers, uh, for this period. Well, we've been talking business, and I'm sure that you've learned, uh, you've picked one or two things that can help you and can change your orientation of, of how things are going. Uh, it's certain that uh, the world after the pandemic will not be the same again, and things are going to change. We need to begin to learn how to cope with things. Now, until another time on this uh, program the exclusive i am korede akitunde and i want to say stay blessed and uh, if you want to watch a full episode of this uh, program it will be on our social media and uh, facebook and youtube all at acnn tv stay blessed and we'll see you again next time god bless you <music>